Now, the stars have been celebrating Halloween early in Hollywood. We mm -hmm. just saw Chris Appleton, Kim Kardashian's friend, talking about it there. No one does it quite like uh, the, the A-listers in Hollywood. No, absolutely. As Chris said, they really go for it big. And can Chris come back here and sort out my bangs too, <laughs> Ryan Veer? But before that, though, let's look at what they have been up to and out and about. Don't think they quite compared to Chris's joker, but Paris Hilton, a little bit of homage to her pal Brittany Ooh. from the toxic video. She went out there as the flight attendant. And just to help along with the look, her husband joined in as well as the pilot. And then, just when you thought Paris couldn't be outdone, she went to another party, this time dressed in Katy Perry's mushroom outfit. And then again, not to be outdone, she had the whole family with her too. They were all mushrooms. Fun guys. Yeah, you know exactly what I did there. Uh, OK, who else we got? Catherine Ryan as a giant what's-it. <laughs> yep, I love that. A giant what's-it. And then, and then, as you mentioned, Chris here, his pal Kim Kardashian, she didn't just dress up herself, she dressed up the whole house. Skull archway. House completely mummified. They, I tell you, they really go all out. They love their holidays here in La La Land. They certainly do. Now, um, we heard Adele earlier when you were talking about Matthew Perry. She, she sort of broke off from a concert to talk a bit about mm. uh, him. But she also had an emotional reunion, didn't she, in Vegas? Yeah, so Halloween show, dressed up as Morticia Adams, looking good. Yeah, so, again, a very emotional tribute to the wonderful Matthew Perry, that comic genius. And then just after that, um, she spotted someone in the audience. Not just someone, it was a doctor. Is there a doctor in the house? How about a doctor in the house who actually delivered her son? Oh, yes, she went straight for him, rightly so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you know, she's made a lovely habit of just stopping her show in the middle, stopping songs in the middle, spotting people in the crowd. Yeah. She's got great, great rapport. Great rapport. I love it. And now, Brittany, OK, what's the announcement today? Yeah. Do we think? <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, just when you thought you had absolutely everything. How about this? We did think that surely there would be some new material coming soon. And so she's taken to her socials. Possibility, new music coming. She said, I wrote a new song. Hate you to like me. No beef with anyone. Just being a narcissist in a claimed self-entitled way. Um, and then also was a deleted Instagram post uh, where she said she was planning on releasing a second memoir. Now, of course, Justin Timberlake featured pretty heavily in the one that just came out last week. But his NSYNC bandmate, Lance Bass, has been speaking out over the weekend. And he's saying that he wants Britney fans to show forgiveness towards Justin because there's seems to have been a bit of bad blood. And he said, I feel the whole world is so full of hate right now that we need to practice a little forgiveness. You know, Britney did, so let's take a note from mm, her. Interesting stuff. Now, the Rolling Stones, meanwhile, are set to make mm. history. Yeah, well, it looks like they're going to become billionaires. I kind of almost thought that they possibly were beforehand. Yeah. Uh, Hackney Diamonds, that brilliant new album, first studio release in almost a decade. Most ordered album for the past three weeks. Looks like more of a tour coming up next year as well. And of course, we know that Taylor Swift became a billionaire. You know, that was thanks to the re-recorded albums, uh, the Worldwide Eras Tour, the concert film of that as well. Uh, the actual film itself has generated $3.7 billion worth of spending right across the USA, wherever she appeared. So now you've got the Chilean, as they say out here, the Chilean president, the mayor of Budapest, the Prime Minister of Canada, all saying, please come and do a tour <laughs> in our cities because it will absolutely boost the local economy. That's so, yeah, there we are. It's part of government bit, policy. A little bit of a teaser for Taylor. <laughs> yeah, very funny, very funny. Now, good old Gwyneth is back with her annual holiday gift guide for the, for the very, very rich only. Absolutely. Again, we just be silly at this time. So let's see what you can buy for the holiday season. Checking out the Goop specials here, as always, as you said, just for this, this silly rich here. Uh, how about a planner studio gong? Because, of course, we all do need a gong, but you do get a stand as well, and that's for 1,650 of your great British pounds. How about a spicy margarita book clutch? That is only 1,600 pounds. But, of course, one thing you can never do without is the cheese tower. That's 135 pounds. Oh. 
That's with £4.5 pounds of cheese and serves 24 to 36 people. Of course, let's move up. A baby wardrobe trunk for 60000 <laughs> But here's the one that we know that I'm going to give to you, you're going to give to me. We're going to rent an island in Fiji for £32,000 a night, <laughs> minimum three nights. OK, are we in? I love a bit of Gwyneth. She is very funny, isn't she? All right, super <laughs> stuff. Thanks so much, Ross. Lovely to see you today. Thanks, Lydia.